Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Shudnovsky here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Mad Viking Games. First off, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor. If you are investing, it's your decision, it's your choice, so do your own research. Next, if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button, it really does help. Last, I want to say thank you so much to this community, Mad Viking Games community, VFAM, everyone out there. Thank you so much for your support, it really doesn't go unnoticed. But without further ado, let's dive into this video. So in this video, I want to talk about the communication that Mad Viking Games has been doing recently and how they're reaching out to the community more after some recent Discord community members' concern. The past couple weeks, some of the community members in the Discord, Telegram, and other areas have been really concerned about how much Mad Viking Games has been communicating to us inside the Discord. Now, Mad Viking Games has addressed this and has been doing a really great job at trying to reach out to the community and address some of these issues. Last week, they had their first attempt where they sent out a Google form to reach out to us and ask us any development questions about the game. Now, we weren't sure how that was going to be used or what the purpose was, but we found out a few days later when they introduced us to a new community member called Rafa. Now, Rafa is a developer that works for Mad Viking Games, and he is spending some time going through those questions and answering them for our community. So he did one video already where it was about two minutes long, and he answered some questions that the community had about what their favorite part about working on the game was, what the game is about, and etc. And I strongly suggest you listening in because he does actually go into how the game is played and it sounds pretty cool you're going to sit there and play some strategy level up some characters and you're going to destroy your ancestral stone of the other opponent um, and you could do it in unique fighting styles with cards right so that was like the basic understanding of the first game that was given out in one of these development updates, I guess, or Q&As with Rafa. And I think this is a great idea. I like this a lot. I think reaching out, making a little video with him is awesome. And it's a great way for the community to see a person working behind the scenes, talking about what's going on. I think we're all interested in that. And I think even if it's small, it's exciting for us to see, right? And they even did that today when people were asking questions about the uh, rigging and connecting of motion capture, right? He put out a little video and we can actually watch it together and we could talk about it after. So let's just listen to it right now. Alpha here with a development update. So rigging is very important for the characters because we need it to move it within the game. To articulate them, we need to rig them. So that's what we're doing right now. And yeah, that's the update. Hey guys, here's an example of a rigged character. We can see the bones have movement. We can move all the bones. So that's why we're doing the rigging of all the characters right now. So that is what rigging of motion capture is. You get the, the movement of the body, the skeletals, and things like that, right? So um, we're learning some things. He's telling us what certain things are meaning and how things are working inside the game. So this is good to see. We get some updates on what things actually mean. And we're trying to find out what is going on with this game, right? Um, we know it's getting close to the end of uh, quarter one. We're all getting excited about what's to come and them giving us these little videos, answering our questions and telling us the insight of the development of the game. This is what's really cool and exciting to our community. Now, this for some people wasn't enough um, and people still want them to talk more. And something that was also happening was we've seen Balder and other people come back into the chats and really start talking to the community more during their time of work or even during their day, right? So we're starting to see Mad Viking Games really reach out to the community and say, hey, we are listening. We know that you guys are seeing the end of quarter one. We keep telling you things are happening soon. But we want to be here and we want to talk to you, but there's things that we can't say, but we are here and we are listening, right? 
We do know they have some NDAs uh, for some partnerships and things like that. So they can't really say everything. So it, it, it's it's going to be a little bit of that waiting game. Um, we do know that they did get the NFTs, but sent them back because they didn't like some things. So they're making the partner work on it. So that way it looks better. And to me, again, I've said this before, is a plus. So um, I'm really excited to see what's going on. They're really trying to make things realistic. They're really trying to up the ante. And I love the fact that they're reaching out to us some more to show us what's going on. So um, good stuff, Mad Viking Games. Um, I like this a lot. And I think this is a great step in the right direction. Um, I'm sure you're going to start doing more and more of these um, with other aspects when you can talk about it, right? Maybe you have someone come in and do a short video on how staking is going to work and things like that to explain it. Uh, I think that would be great. I know you mentioned something about a medium, but if you do things like this, little small things, I think the community is going to love it and I think they're going to embrace it really well. And I do love the fact that you guys are all coming in more to talk to us within the community. I think it really helps out with everyone in there and uh, does wonders for um, us as investors and even future gamers, right? Um, we want to see uh, you all engage and this is awesome stuff. Um, so great job. Look forward to seeing some more of this. And I hope that the community members can see them trying uh, to do better on this and realize that certain things they can and cannot say. So keep, keep going on to these Google Forms, ask questions, get help, see if you can come up with something that can maybe give us some insight into the game some more um, because the development uh, developers seem like they want to talk. So this is fun to see. Now, honestly, the next thing I'm hoping for is an AMA um, with anybody, maybe me, I hope, I'm trying to get it one for myself. But uh, if it doesn't happen, whoever they go to, um, I really look forward to seeing that as well. Now, if you all did like this content, um, please hit that like and subscribe button. It does help. I do hope you found this to be helpful and informative. Uh, last, before I go, I do have uh, a giveaway for 250,000 MVG for when I reach um, 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you want to participate in that, you must be a subscriber on my YouTube and a follower on my Twitter so I can contact you. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, week, month, and year. And until next time.